So I'm just beginning to start running some outlets around the room in this container that the she shed where we've got it framed in. So I just put in that breaker, uh, one wire this way to have some outlets and the other wire this way. I'm gonna run one over the ceiling to that wall. Yeah, so that'll be the one that goes this way. And then the other wire will go that way. I put lights in my beard so that uh, I can shine like a headlamp. <laughs> Actually, this is, if you can't, you can see it. It's uh, probably good for mechanics, a flashlight that you can wear around your neck. Okay, I just finished wiring my next circuit, which is all the outlets in here. There's one down there. Let's turn it on. So we should have power. I'm gonna try this fan. I have not tested it yet, other than just the fact that the breaker didn't flip. <laughs> there we go. That's coming from that outlet. We've got power everywhere. I just realized I got one more outlet to install. That exterior right there is just a wire sticking out. So I need to shut this off and go put an outlet out there. So I showed you that I'm building this wall here to separate off a storage room. And so I'm beginning to put in some shelving in the storage room, but I'm starting with a storage place for our tables and chairs. That's one thing that gets in our way a lot. So I'm also gonna build like a shelf up here, like this, <laughs> that's uh, gonna have some, some chairs stacked on top because the chairs won't, they're not gonna all fit right here. In other videos, I've talked about colloidal silver, and I'm so impressed with it that I've been learning a little bit about other colloidals. So I tried to make colloidal gold exactly the same way that I made colloidal silver, and it does not work that way. And I've been doing some research, and I'm following uh, this guy Hermes that has a really good process, and so, I'm just gonna start making, there's just a few additives that you need that help you get just right. Cause there's different, different levels, I guess you could say of the colloidal gold and the ones that are most beneficial or maybe the absorb the best have a certain color. So the ruby red, and this is not colloidal gold right here. This is just some, uh, electrolyte drink just to, you know, hydrate better. But it'll look, it'll probably look about this color. We got a thermometer because we're gonna be cooking this stuff. I got some a graduated cylinder to help me measure, as well as uh, a Pyrex to cook the solution in. Um, but I'm not doing any of that yet. All I'm doing is just mixing up my, I guess you could say chemicals. We're gonna use distilled water, which I have a distillation machine that I, so this, you know, we bought a bottle of distilled water, but now I'm just reusing the bottle with my own distilled water. Cindy was saying, well, what is it good for? Uh, one of the main things the colloidal gold is really good for is getting rid of some of this brain fog. Maybe some of it's from age, but it seems like 
that recent virus and stuff might also add to it. This is supposed to give you some really clear thinking and I look forward to reporting on whether or not we'll have some clear thinking. What? We'll take it by the cup full. <laughs> so I think we'll just drink one of these. What is this? Two, two quarts, we'll just drink one of those each day. <laughs> New chicks have been getting huge. Put the water back in, put the feed trough back in, and uh, I put up these bars for some perches, and they have their heat lamp, because they're still chicks. There you go. Yeah, like behind their neck and stuff. The feathers are not completely in yet. Continuing to move her. Tables and chairs over here. I've got my table and chair storage finished. So there I have chairs, more chairs, <laughs> and tables. That's one of our volunteer cats that's shown up over here. There she goes. I think this one is called Mittens. Actually, I might have that wrong. It might be Moccasins. <laughs> but we have a little feeding station down there to keep some cats around so they can keep an eye out for mice and moles and whatever they can find. I, I'll try to get a picture of the uh, mama cat that my sister brought. She brought us a cat. We tried to keep it in a pen. Uh, it was a mother and a daughter cat. And they got out of the pen before they got adjusted to the area. And the mother comes back, but the uh, daughter has disappeared. And we hope that daughter cat's doing okay somewhere. This is the chick's first night on the grass. They have a heat lamp. And it's kind of chilly out here, but they don't look like they're chilly. They're not clustered together yet. They usually do that uh, later in the evening when they're ready to sleep, they'll get all bundled up together. Okay, this evening I'm trying to get started on that colloidal gold. So I'm uh, heating my water up. I need to be between 90 uh, 91 and 93 degrees Celsius, so that's uh, just under boiling. I used the stove to kickstart the heating process. Now I've moved it to my my heating and stirring little device that I bought. This is my power supply. I bought these things. Chinese-made devices are pretty economical and this is a perfect time to get that sort of thing. Once we start the process, I won't be able to check the temperature with this anymore because it's got a metal rod. We don't want metal interfering with the process. So I've got my thermometer here. I'm gonna go ahead and start stirring this to keep the temperature even. I made some mistakes. I think uh, my amperage and my temperature letting it get too hot. So this is not red. <laughs> it might be purple or gray. So not the right color. What are you saying? out of snacks. <laughs> Are you trying to send us a signal? Here it's been about 13 minutes. I think I might be seeing just a slight reddish tinge. I hope that's the case. This is my second attempt. Uh, 
24 hours after the one that I was just showing you. 22 minutes. It doesn't really show in the video, I don't think, as well as I can see it, but there's definitely a, a pink hue. 37 minutes, you can definitely see that tinge in the video now. Hour and 45 minutes. I'm quitting at two hours. It has a pretty good color, and I'm just going to settle for this color this time, and I'm going to experiment uh, with voltage and stuff to see if we can produce this faster next time. are so sensitive I'm just getting a little bit close and they're already ready to run <whistles> and if they think there's a hawk or something they really run for the bushes and get undercover <whistles> 